good afternoon my youtube friends how are you all doing today this is my night blooming jasmine and uh, i'm going to um, propagate it is starting to give flower but i'm gonna cut whatever not start yet so like this one didn't start anything yet so I'm gonna cut like here so I get one piece here so second piece here Third piece here. This one is already giving parts, so this one too. So I can cut this. So I got four here. So now let me show you how I propagate it. Okay. So here is my soil. It's regular potting soil. It's cocoa peat and um, parlite and little bit of soil. It's store-bought potting soil. So any potting soil would be alright. I'm gonna trim all this leaf. Just leave this many leaf and put it like this. I'm not gonna put any rooting powder or anything yeah, because of this summer and I'm gonna keep it in, in outside in the shade. This will uh, just grow like this. I got four pieces today. So just like this. I'm gonna spray water. not gonna cover it or anything just like this I'm gonna put it under my uh, orchid bench and time to time it will get water from the orchid and it will be in complete shade so uh, it's not gonna burn or anything uh, and uh, stay in moisture and shade and in two months later you can see all this all this plant I put in uh, like 
two, two months ago. And uh, it all grew. I can see the roots coming out from the bottom. So let's open one and see. I put in this pot because I had pot outside like this with soil. Soil was there, so I just put it in there. It's not getting up very easily. Um, I rip off the roots from this one. See the root here. I pull it and I rip it. too much of the soil, otherwise I would dump it in the tray. become complete plant here. Look at this. I just, I just has to pull it out and see how roots grow in it. Even some roots coming out from the bottom. too deep in. Look at this. Look at this roots in two months. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put little bit of same soil and plant it here. So this becomes a complete new, brand new plant. I'm gonna plant all of these. I'm gonna put this big one in a bigger pot. so much root. I didn't do anything, just put it in the shade, in the soil. It's very easy. In the summertime, especially. Just put it in the shade and water time to time. 
with all other brand you have. So I'm gonna make all of this and put this in the bigger part and then um, I'll water it and put it in the shade area for about a week. I'm coming back. So here is uh, this, this is the one I put right now and Whatever the one I have a little bit uh, roots, not too much, I put it in again. And I got this many plants from the last time. It's all, all like completely rooted, a lot of roots. And uh, I part it all and now I'm going to put see, this quick start planting and transplant starting solution gives transplant the nutrients they need to thrive. So I put like half cap full or in one gallon of water and I'm gonna put it I can see some insect eating the leaves, so I'm gonna spray the insecticide spray, neem oil spray, but not now. After this get a, like week later, after this uh, settled. So these, these are the new plants, you can see. This is the band of flower. I put in uh, this base for display inside the house. It was hanging outside. This blooms all the flower, all the buds. Two to four to six, eight. Yeah, eight flowers. So I didn't put any water in the bottom. I just. Uh, take it out to the sink and rinse it with water and put this back because it's not um, it's not used to be sitting in the water so I don't want to make it any change while it is in bloom so I just uh, want to show that and this, this is the transplant thank you for watching bye now